Hello and welcome back to our series. This will be episode 6 for Oracle 77 uh, Enterprise Linux, uh, Oracle 19C, uh, Swing Bench, and Golden Gate. Uh, in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to take our base and we're going to clone it once for uh, to be the DB target and once to be our Swing Bench node. So with that, uh, we'll go into our virtual box manager and here under our DB source, we'll look at our snapshots and that's our current state. Now what we're going to do is we're going to clone our current state. Okay, and we're going to change this name to DB TGT, as in DB target. Uh, we're going to use the same I drive because it's faster than all my other drives. So we'll go ahead and go to that. Virtual box VM. New folder. DB TGT. And we'll select folder. Uh, and I recommend you go and do the advanced. Choose a full clone. Current machine state. We don't want all the snapshots. Uh, change the MAC address to generate new MAC addresses for all network adapters. And put checks in both of these boxes to ensure our storage mounts. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit clone and it's going to go ahead and start and it initially says 10 seconds but it does end up increasing and taking a couple of minutes uh, to give you an idea um, again this is on my fast storage but it's doing a fair amount of copying right now so just be patient and let it finish and I will go ahead and fast forward to completion Okay, so it completed, and we can see dbtgt is now powered off. Let's look at the details of it. Okay. Interesting on the storage. But if we highlight each one, it shows us a serial number rather than a file name. But that's okay. Um, now we're going to actually do it one more time. And we're going to go into snapshots. And we're going to make sure we have current state. We're going to select clone. We're in advanced mode. We're going to say uh, new MAC addresses. Full clone, current state. Put our checks in. And this one, we're going to call it swing. And we're also going to uh, point it to that I drive. And we're going to create a new folder. And we're going to call it Swing. And we're going to select folder. So Swing, Virtual Box, VM Swing, Full Clone, Current Machine State new MAC addresses, keep disk names, and keep hardware UUIDs. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and hit clone. And again, this is going to take about five minutes, even though it seems to uh, say it's going to take less. On my system with the fast storage and lots of memory and CPU, it still takes five minutes. So just be patient. It'll finish uh, as long as you have free space. Uh, let it run and we'll fast forward until it's complete okay so that clone finished and as you can see we have swing here it's powered off let's uh, take a look at the details and we can see the same similar uh, different directories for the storage but if you also notice 
I was uh, very particular to use different size storage so uh, we'll know what each piece of storage is based on the size. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and pull up our DBT target. And we're going to start that with a normal start. And spinning up the VM. Now, we don't want to start these all at the same time, by the way. If uh, source and target and swing were all three running, we'd run into an IP address conflict. So that's why we're going to take care of target separately and then uh, swing separately. So keep that in mind that uh, until we change those IP addresses, they have their own MAC addresses, but we want uh, separate IP addresses uh, for uh, each VM. Okay, so the system has fully booted, and we're going to log in graphically as root. Normally, I would use an SSH session. However, uh, for changing the uh, network adapter, I find it's quicker and easier to use the graphical login. So let's go ahead and pull up the desktop here. And this is uh, DB target, TGT. Let's see up here on the top. And let's let it build the desktop for us. And the desktop came up. It's still giving us that low space warning on boot here, which we expected. That's fine. We're going to go into favorites and terminal. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, take a look at our host name. And how do we do that? We just say host name. Okay, DB source, but we know this is DB target. And in enhanced with Oracle Enterprise Linux 7 is host name CTL. So host name CTL. And you can see that it gives us uh, more details um, than just a simple host name command. So um, to change the host name, we're going to say host name CTL set hyphen host name. And we're going to give it our new host name, dbtgt. And we're going to keep local domain. Okay. And a new one with this, we can add uh, dash pretty, double dash, dash pretty, and say cloned from dbsrc. Okay. So now we'll do that host name CTL again. And you see we have a static host name, dbtgt. Pretty host name that tells us it was cloned from DB source. And it's a VM and all the other information is generally the same. Okay, so that takes care of the host name. Next, we want to go and take care of the network adapter. So we're going to go into System Tools Settings. And here we're going to go to Network. And here it says we're connected. VPN's not set up. No network proxy. But that's okay. We're going to go right here into Settings on this connected wired. Okay, we get our details, connect automatically, so we're just going to go here, and instead of 126, we're going to make target 127. Everything else stays the same. So all we have to do then is 
say apply and we're pretty much golden now we're going to come back in here and shut down dash reboot now and we're going to wait for the reboot okay so we just came back up online we're going to log back in as user root password r let it build the desktop the desktop comes up we're going to open a terminal window host name db target host name ctl exactly what we expect ip addr and now we're at 127 so we're actually pretty golden here now, because it has a unique IP address, we can actually leave this guy running. It won't hurt anything, and we can power up Swing. Details. Normal start. And we let it uh, go ahead and finish booting. Okay, so we finished booting, and we're going to do the same thing here. And we're going to say root, password r. Okay, the same message. We're going to say ignore. Applications, terminal. Okay, so we have desktop up, we have uh, terminal up, and this is our swing. We can see in the upper corner, it's our swing VM. Uh, however, uh, if we say host name, uh, we're still DB source. So host name, CTL, we get the full details. So host name, set host name, swing dot local domain. Pretty cloned from DBSRC. Oh, spelled pretty wrong. How about that? And there we go. And there we can see we're good there. So the next thing we need to do is go into our system tools, settings. we go to network settings IPv4 and we're going to change this one to 128 we're going to hit apply close shut down dash R now and wait for a reboot and then we'll validate okay we're fully rebooted we're gonna log in as root password r bring up the desktop and open terminal okay we're back we're going to ignore that warning applications terminal and verify we're golden IP ADDR and we now have 128 host name CTL and we now have a different host name so we were successful cloning this and renaming the IP addresses so uh, what we should do now is shut down well just before we shut down I just want to point out that right now we have a couple of VMs running. Okay, so we have Swing running. We 
Here's Target. Target, where'd you go? Here's Target. We have Target running. And we can also pull up the last one, which is uh, our source. So let's go ahead and do that. Pull up that and source. And let's hit start. It's starting the virtual machine. Let's wait patiently for a login prompt. It's getting there. And still going. And working on it. Let's take a look at everything flashing by. And we're at a login prompt, so let's go in as root, password R, ignore the warning. I'm just going to move this around so you can see we have all three VMs running. desktop we ignore space warning applications we'll ignore that warning too terminal and again host name ctl l and we can see that source and IP ADDR we can see we're still at 126 so we got 126 We've got 127 up here, I think. Uh, I'm sorry, 128. This one would be 127. So, um, and we can ping these guys. 192.168.0.0. Uh, this is 127, so we'll ping 126, and it's getting responses, sub-millisecond, and 128, so we're getting responses, so we're golden, so my recommendation is to shut all three down right now. Shut down dash halt now and shut down halt now and we'll wait for it to tell us all the VMs are stopped. Looks like this one might be still shutting down and it's shut down. So now we'll go into our new ones, our target, and we'll take a snapshot. Cloned, new host name, new IP ADDR. Okay, swing, same thing, take. Cloned, new host name, new IP, EDDR, and we're golden. So again, thank you for watching. Uh, remember, if you're finding this useful, please like and subscribe, and be sure to tune into the next episode. Thanks, and have a great day.